ओके हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेलो 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 सो वो पॉल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड यस सो टुडे आई हैव गॉट यू सम इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज़ व्हिच हैज बीन रिलीज्ड बाय द के ए एंड यस एज यू पीपल वर एक्सपेक्टिंग फॉर द डॉक्यूमेंट वेरिफिकेशन इट इज अप एंड इट इज शेड्यूल्ड फ्रॉम 5th ऑफ दिसंबर ओके सो लेट अस गेट इनटू इट एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दे हैव गिवन इन द नोटिफिकेशन एंड हु इज टू गो फॉर गो दैट and who can download it from the website directly okay so all these are whatever is given in the notification i'm just going to brief you out and then also like in the notification copy in the comments below on the description below you can just check it out okay so let us just check it out right now here you can see that they have released pdc 2023 downloading of verification slip and document verification for a and n clause okay so now what are they briefly telling inside this let us just check it out so now the first part is for downloading the the verification slip for the mba mca and all these tools okay so online document verification is in progress for the candidates who have claimed eligibility in clause a and clause n for those who are not still clear on clause a and clause n it is for the students who have completed their education in karnataka for 7 years or more up to 10th standard or something so all these kind of candidates and under n those who have done the kannada medium or the kannada syllabus in any other place and they have the certificates based on that okay so these people need not appear for document verification still fine you need not go for the document verification process itself but what you can do those who have claimed this eligibility can download a verification slip from the ke on see you can check it out verification slip from the ke website from 5th 12 2023 to 7 12 2023 okay however in case of any clause a or n candidates are gate qualified okay if you are qualified gate and you are applying for this or you are, you are a part time admission candidates or a sponsor quota candidates then you need to appear for the document verification at kea bad okay firstly the download is available only for those people who have claimed a and n clause and have not applied for gate or part time or not or they are not sponsored candidates these type of candidates can download the uh verification slip on 5th december up to 7th december others need to follow the next step one and one step okay document verification for gate qualified students part time course selected candidates and or sponsor quota kind okay those who have claimed b c d eligibility clauses in the pg ct or 2023 application okay and also the a n n for those who are qualified gate part timers or those on support all these people have to appear for the document verification so now when is the document verification happening it is happening on 5th december 2023 up to 7th december 2023 offline where is it happening in 18th cross mandeshwar in the ke board itself okay so now what do you need to carry there and what is the procedure over there I just briefly understand, uh, briefly let you know people so that you can plan according. Okay, original documents to be produced for the verification is already given in the in information bulletin. The candidate should produce all necessary original documents as per eligibility clause, along with one set of Xerox copy. Okay, one set of Xerox copy. Whatever documents original you are having. entire thing has to be in a xerox copy format also okay hope this is clear now so just by getting mere assignment of ranks in pg cd 2023 does not confer any right of the candidates for admission unless the candidate fulfills eligibility condition or submits the document certificates or certificates okay only by getting a good rank it doesn't mean that you are eligible to do whatever and you can choose any college you may also need to submit certain documents and certificates or the eligibility conditions need to be fulfilled only then you are eligible for this yeah 
the candidate should compulsorily produce all the documents in original with one set of photocopies of all original documents very important yeah, very important okay all the documents needs to be produced original along with one set of photocopy okay the candidates who become eligible after verification only will be considered for entry of the options to be to become eligible for allotment of seats okay only if your documents are verified and it is eligible only then you will be allowed to sit for the allotment of seats fine the candidates have to be present personally as per the schedule for verifying the documents and no one can represent them so you have to be physically available at the time of document verification you cannot send your brother parents or your friend or anyone else you have to be physically available over there for the document verification okay in case if some people are in other part of the state please do plan accordingly and some of them over here and get your documents verified on time okay the candidate should bring all necessary original documents with them in support of their claim or reservation made in their online application in case if you have applied for some kind of reservation you need to bring on those supporting documents in order to get your documents checked fine the academic eligibility criteria as laid down in the respective pg rules or competitive authority or university are applicable for admissions to mba mca ma mtech mr courses for the year 2023 the candidates who have got the requisite qualification are only eligible to register for pg admissions please note sc st obc eligibility criteria are applicable to karnataka sc st obc candidates only okay here one point which has to be clear is yes only if you are completely cleared your degree only then you are eligible for the pg program okay ug is completely cleared and your documents are available amounts are available ranks are available whatever it is only then you are eligible some of the colleges might have not still given the results because some of my students had still so let me know that i haven't received my result what should do so just go and let them know that it is still awaiting you can mention the university under which you are representing according to that they will take a call and the sc st opc eligibility are ap applicable only if you are a karnataka student if you are an outsider yes this wouldn't be applicable to you okay hope this point is clear if the information submitted by the candidates in the online application form or any other document submitted by the candidates or parents are found to be false incorrect such candidate seat will be cancelled at any point of time during his or her course of study and criminal proceedings will be initiated by the government against such candidates as per rules now hope this point is crystal clear for anyone i need not give an explanation for this okay so hope, hope you are not making any false claims and not having any document which is going to be false so in that case you will be condemned by the court okay so that is what they have mentioned and this is the schedule given for these candidates claimed candidates claimed a and n plus need need not appear for document verification again what is this okay schedule for offline verification of uh, gate qualified candidates part time courses selected candidates sponsored quota candidates and those who have claimed the bcd eligibility class in the pgc 2023 application mba mca ma mtech am okay so the online web document verification is happening on 5th to 7th first slot is from 9:30 to 11:30 second slot 11:30 to 2:15 and third slot 3 pm onwards the first slot uh the reporting time is 9:15 second slot reporting time 11:15 third slot reporting time 2:45 the first day 1 to 8000 rai second day 8000 to 21000 rai third day 21000 to last try whatever so whichever rank you come across please do be available at that point of time now here however 
in case of any clause A and N candidates or gate qualified candidates or part time admission candidates or sponsor quota candidates, then they have to appear for the document verification at KEA. Okay. Here, whatever they have mentioned as candidates claimed A and N clause need not appear for documents, it is only for those who do not come under that category of paid or sponsored quota or part timers. Others, you need to apply for the document verification. Okay. Hope my points are very crystal clear. In case if you're having any further doubts, you can make me. But if you are staying somewhere far away from Karmataka, then please plan your trip accordingly so that you can make it on the time for the document verification. Okay. And uh, please do carry one set of photocopies for all your original documents. Okay. So do not miss out anything. So have a cross check. Have your friends or parents cross check it once before they leave your home because if you are traveling from some other place, getting the original document again would be a hectic task. Right. So make sure that does not happen. Okay. In case of any other further queries, just uh, reach out or you can put down a comment. I'll try to answer most of the questions. Some questions go unanswered. I understand. But I will try to clarify most of the things for you. Okay. So hope these things are clear and uh, your people are up and ready for this. Okay. So get it done and uh, we'll meet you soon with another video. Until then, if you are not subscribed for this channel, please do like, share and subscribe to Seth. Third life, it will help us do many more content and help you help people. Thank you very much. Empire.